Hello and welcome to this really exciting cryptocurrency technical analysis that I have for you today where we are going to be going through Ethereum and the potential 100% plus move to the upside. We are going to be taking a look at the Ethereum against Bitcoin pair, Ethereum against USD, which also includes Ethereum against USDT Tether. It's going to be a really good video. I'm looking forward to this one and let's get straight into the analysis of Ethereum. Starting out here, looking at Ethereum against Bitcoin, and then we'll move on to looking at it against USD. Uh, Ethereum against Bitcoin has obviously had a few characteristics that it has been repeating recently. Uh, originally, with its strong move to the upside during 2020, retracing all the way back to the CC bottoming out uh, at around December time, December 2020, before that secondary strong move to the upside during the month of January, we're getting another retracement where it turned almost to a stable coin, very boring coin um, for a few, you know, for going on a month where it was hovering once again around the CC. The characteristic that I really want to point out here is both times had the really strong move up, bounce back to the CC, strong move up, bounce back to the CC, strong move up. So the characteristic of Ethereum is really that CC, very strong Fibonacci support level. So we're talking about today of how Ethereum has this potential really strong move to the upside, looking at potentially 100 plus percent gain to the upside. We are now back above that very important weekly level. And I'm really looking at Ethereum. I am long on Ethereum. I'm long holding spot Ethereum and I'm long as well leveraged. Um, I'm in a leveraged long position on Ethereum, obviously both in profits right now. But in terms of where I'm expecting this to go, I like to get my USD targets because I'm, I'm long on Ethereum USD. And I like to get my targets by looking at the, the underlying pair against Bitcoin against Ethereum. Because if Ethereum is going to be outperforming Bitcoin, I like to hold a little bit more ETH. So with that in mind, we can see here we have finally broken out of that weekly level. As we can see here, the weekly was a strong resistance which led that pullback towards the CC. Okay, very, very big, important level that weekly was. Didn't manage to close above it. Again, we are only sat on Thursday. There's a few days left of this week, but so far, so good in terms of strength back above the weekly. We would like to get that weekly close above it, of course. And uh, in my opinion, it's, it looks as if it's going to happen. I'm very bullish on Ethereum right now. And let's think then. So in terms of targets, then we get this weekly close above our big resistance of that weekly, which is now arguably turned into support. What are we going to be looking at next? Well, we can see there's a few interesting areas to bear in mind. We first of all have this weekly order block. So this is a weekly order block, which one would envision acts as a level of resistance. It doesn't mean that we can't get through it eventually. But a weekly order block like this can take, you know, a few days at least to get through. So if we, even if we're looking very conservatively at a potential next resistance, that would give Ethereum a move up of around 20, 25 percent move to the upside going into the first weekly order block. If we clear this weekly order block, well, it's going to look very bullish indeed. Our next resistance is not really up into a pound point one, okay, which is about a move of 100, I would say anywhere between 84 and 115 percent move to the upside. So that's obviously very bullish indeed. And if things get extremely crazy on Ethereum and we manage to then clear those highs, we would be looking up towards new all-time highs. You know, the percentages are just going to get crazier and crazier. You know, talking about two, three, four hundred percent, however, however much it really wants to run. You have to remember how the altcoin cycle went in 2017, where obviously Bitcoin was the king, and then a lot of money went into the altcoins. And is this potential time where Bitcoin has reached this? You know, it's finding pretty heavy resistance at around 60k. Now we're consolidating, you know, a very long period of time around this period. And so if this is similar, of course, it's not picture perfect and it's not exactly the same. But if this is similar, one could envision that maybe Bitcoin goes through this consolidation period and the altcoins, you know, have their rises, which if we're looking at, you know, right now, there's a few altcoins that are looking really good. Um, surprise, surprise. Litecoin is also looking really good. And as you all know, I'm long on Litecoin. I've made that very, very, very clear. I'm long and bullish on Litecoin. I can do a video about that if you'd like. Also long on Algo, of course. And now long on Bitcoin. Sorry, long on uh, Ethereum, <laughs> although I did take a scalp long on Bitcoin as well. But anyway, so this is how the US, uh, this is how Ethereum against Bitcoin is looking. Yeah, we know our next resistance, which is about 20, 25% to the upside. We'd like to see this close above the weekly, which is 0 0.04316 sats. And we know that potential first target, which again, that could act as resistance for a pullback. 
Okay, it's the potential. It's a weekly order block. It's not like it's nothing. So it's it's a relatively big resistance. Definitely a take profit. If we get through it, I believe we're looking up towards another 80, 100% move to the upside. If we clear that, I think that looks extremely bullish. And well, I, I don't want to put a higher target on the Bitcoin pair, to be honest with you, because sky really is the limit for me in that regards. Moving it over to the USD pair. This is what I am trading. And uh, in terms of like leverage, I'm, I'm leveraging long on this. So we have, I, I think for me, honestly, Ethereum, USD, I have a really strong bond and connection with this pair. Um, it has been nothing short of absolute perfection. Like I fall in love with this pair, honestly. Obviously, I'm trading it over on Bybit. And I went through a period of trading Ethereum against Tether and now Ethereum against USD. And like the respect that the levels get are just so, so, so perfect. Like we, we talk a lot about Bitcoin and how we love to trade Bitcoin. But I think Ethereum is up is up there with Bitcoin in terms of the technical respect that it gets. You see levels hit to the dollar re regularly. And, you know, I, I love to trade Ethereum when it's like this. Yeah, when it's like this, volatile, moving. I, I enjoy to trade the altcoins when they're volatile, not really when they're stable coins. <laughs> but yeah, Ethereum against against USD, obviously the way I get my targets are judging it from the Bitcoin pair. That's why I looked at that first. And so the way that I'm going to like trying to, you know, it's for me, it's, yeah, it's all about the underlying asset. So it's all about the Ethereum against Bitcoin pair. That, that's how I trade. That's how I trade my altcoins. So obviously I am trading this on, on Bybit against USD, but I'm still looking at ETH BTC for my, for my targets. Um, so that really would lead us to acknowledging the ETH USD pair is pegged to Bitcoin. Okay, so if Bitcoin falls, Ethereum USD will fall to a certain extent, unless obviously Ethereum Bitcoin is very strong against, um, you know, if Bitcoin drops 5% and ETH BTC is up 10%, well, uh, Ethereum USD is going to be up 5%. I know for a lot of people, this can be somewhat confusing, but it's not when you actually understand what you're on about. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, so anyway, moving on. Basically, I am looking for the targets based off the, that ETH BTC pair. Okay, so we could say that the next target on terms of the USD pair is going to be around these sort of psychological levels. Yeah, it's going to be somewhat pegged to Bitcoin, exactly what Bitcoin does, as well as just understanding that these psychological levels will, will take an effect on the ETH USD pair. Um, but really, it's totally focused on the ETH BTC. But that's going to be psychological around 3,000, 3, yeah? That's about 20%, so that would make total sense. So I'd say 3,000 is your next resistance level on the USD pair. Okay, so about $3,000, uh, give or take $50 either side of it. You want to give it a little bit of leeway because I just need to emphasize once again, if you're trading Ethereum USD, you do have to take into account what Bitcoin uh, you what Bitcoin is doing. And also you have to do 100% take into account what ETH BTC is doing, even though you're not trading that pair. Um, you know, if that is confusing for you, I do have a whole website on the Chart Champions website for the contenders that's dedicated to how I trade altcoins. So if it is slightly confusing, well, I've got a whole hour long video dedicated to it. But I hope it's, I hope I've, I've done a decent job of explaining it in five minutes here. <laughs> uh, but you know, that, that's really how I'm looking for Ethereum. I, I'm personally, yeah, I'm long on it. Obviously, I know a lot of other people are long on this right now. Um, this guy was long in it yesterday, getting his confluences with the MPOCs. Couldn't have done it without the teaching. Very happy to help my friend. And obviously, this is my entry, which I've been holding for quite a while now. <laughs> uh, still from 1,200. Originally long from uh, $566. Closed that at the weekly resistance. Got back into it. 1,200. Holding that now to around, hopefully, $3,000. Um, so you have to think to yourself, like, is now a good entry? Um, you know, you have to ask yourself, is now a good entry or have you missed Ethereum? Uh, this is, I suppose, something that you're going to have to decide based off the time frames that you're trading. I personally wouldn't enter new longs, you know, at Virium $2,500 because you're, you have a bit of resistance, yeah? Uh, <laughs> so you have to remember, like, uh, although I'm talking about really potential massive gains on this, this, this asset, you do have to try and time your entry because... Obviously, if you're buying it right now, you could argue this is a totally like FOMO driven buy. Uh, it's not really based off of any strong technical analysis. I, I would argue, I would argue, you're literally buying into resistance. Suppose if you can clear the last high, then you could look towards your breakout buys potentially. And obviously, on the Bitcoin pair, again, looking very strong. That last high is coming in at let's just say the exact level, uh, zero dot zero four six two four sats so you might want to see the them both breaking out at the same time potentially and i'm not really a breakout trader i'm already in my long positions 
And I've been saying this now for about a week or so since we started to break up from this area of the chart. So that was obviously about 23% ago. <laughs> Made it clear I was in Ethereum. Um, but, you know, I, I, I said at the start of this video, I absolutely love Ethereum. Like I have such a such a strong bond with this market especially ETH, uh, well, and Bitcoin, to be honest with you. But on, on Ethereum, I, I have to show you this because this is why, this is why I love Ethereum. I need you to go back and check this and like verify yourself because you, you're going to just be like, genius. Uh, 23rd of December, 2020. 23rd of December, 2020. Check out when the low was put in on that USD pair. 23rd of December, 2020 on Ethereum USD, Ethereum USD team. For, basically it was the exact day what we were buying <laughs> buying ethereum and it was literally the exact low you couldn't have got a better uh, better entries than this obviously at the time getting into those original positions 566 dollars eight thousand dollars in a matter of minutes we're talking about what 16 16 minutes later uh sixteen thousand dollars profit and obviously from here we've gone from 566 to two thousand five hundred dollars this is why I love this coin because I've made it a lot of money on this. I've obviously been compounding it and adding more. Um, yeah, I have massive Ethereum bags. And yeah, this is why I love the coin because we literally were the market makers on Ethereum. You cannot deny it. The exact level that we were waiting for, I can even show you this, I believe. Uh, so CCD, uh, CCD, and I was waiting for 517, no? Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Five seven zero. Ooh, five seven zero. Yes, there you go. That was earlier in the day, a few hours before we hit it. I was like, I'm waiting for five seventy, and then it hit five seventy. And well, have a guess what I was doing? I was longing. <laughs> I know many other people were longing it five fifty, man. Lots of people catching it at five sixty, five fifty. Uh, lots of people getting involved in that. And yeah, that was that was a crazy day. Long in Ethereum, uh, people longing XRP, amazing call. Yeah, we were literally longing the exact low of a lot of those coins. It was a pretty crazy day. Uh, but that all all back on the twenty third of December, and it, I'll just show you twenty third of December. That was the exact low of the move. Yeah, exact low, and that was an amazingly timed entry. All because of the fact I was looking at Ethereum USD, recognizing what Bitcoin was going to do, recognizing what ETH BTC was going to do. And it all came together to just give this extremely strong level at basically 570. I was waiting for it, executed. The rest is history. Managed to take it up to the weekly. Yeah, managed to take that one up to the weekly where I did close my ETH long, but then we entered our period of consolidation. We started to re-hold the weekly absolutely perfectly, which that weekly was obviously uh, $1,215. And hey, back into my long 1,262, we now sit 1,000, nearly 2,500. So that's why I love Ethereum. Yeah, that's why I love Ethereum. I, I, funny story, wear the rainbow Daytona today. Yeah, this, this watch is about 200, if you convert it into Ethereum price, it's about 200 Ethereum. And uh, well, that was basically paid, pretty much paid with the profits off of that Ethereum long. So just kind of why I have such a strong bond with Ethereum. Not that <laughs> I, I love to ramble on in my videos, but at least I've given you in this target, in this video, the targets I'm looking forward to the upside on the USD pair, looking for around $3,000 next on the Ethereum BTC pair, looking for about 25% next. Again, we would like that weekly close above the weekly level, of course. And next target for me on this is going to be the weekly order block. Okay, weekly order block. That would be for me the next resistance. I am long on the BTC, uh, ETH USD pair. Looking for three thousand again. Um, definitely not telling anyone to buy it at two thousand four hundred and eighty. You're literally buying into resistance. Pretty crazy time if you're buying it right now. Uh, you massive FOMO. Do what you want though. <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do. No financial advice, of course. And ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this video, give a give a like to the give, give a like to the video. And I suppose if we hit. I don't know, thousand likes on this one. I'll do a video dedicated to Litecoin. If you've been watching us the last few weeks, you will know I've absolutely nailed Litecoin pretty much long the absolute bottom of this one as well. <laughs> just how it is. That's just the fact. I pretty much did long the bottom of it. Uh, so if you'd like a video dedicated to Litecoin, I will do one if we reach that big 1,000 likes. Uh, it's going to be worth it. So if you want it, like the video. That's all I can say. Uh, when I talk about something, you're going you're gonna to want to know it. So, 1,000 likes, I'll do that. We absolutely crushed Ethereum. We were pretty much the market makers on the USD pair. And, well, now you know what I'm looking for next. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. 
have an absolutely wonderful day and i hope that you are absolutely smashing it with us i know that quite a lot of people are because they were literally long in it along with those resistance supports yesterday so thank you ever so much have a brilliant day and that's me signing out cheers and thank you <laughs>